I think I look intimidating. Um, imposing, maybe. I imagine it's a bit of a shot for some people. I stand out from everyone else, that's for sure. John! Sure, I look strange, but I don't think I'm that much different from anyone else. As the head of the uh, Thompson Project, you should know that we uh, expect a dress code in this office. Um, we're flexible on some things because of your uh, you know, differences, but all that we ask is that you wear a, uh, a tie. I'm sorry, Mr. Smith, I'll find one right away. Honestly, once we get to know each other, I think you'll find I'm a lot less grisly than you might think. I've only been working here for a few months. Uh, I used to work in a toy shop building teddy bears, so compared to that, it's a lot quieter here. I, I don't think they've ever had an employee like me before. So I'm finding that there are a few issues to overcome. You know, it was tough at first. Um, a bit of a learning curve for all of us. But I'm really starting to feel like I fit in here. I really do like working here. contractor on the Thompson project. They're being very slow. Mr. Smith really wants us to use them, but they're just not cooperating with me, Judy. Do you think it's because I'm, um... Hey, no. And if it was, we wouldn't want to work with them anyways. You're quite withdrawn, though. You need to be more assertive. Aggressive? Get grizzly. Grizzly? What did you do, Yogi? Get Boo Boo into trouble? Oh, come on, Fuzzy Bear. I'm just trying to make you laugh. Eh, uh hey, -huh. waka waka. When you're different, told you're different, there are often times you sometimes feel like you don't belong. But here, everyone is very accommodating. Right, we need to be more aware of other people's cultures and acknowledge the enrichment that diversity can bring in our, in our workplace, yeah? So, with that in mind, um, John. Where are you from, John? Swindon. Yeah, but, you know, where do, where do you come from? America? Russia? <laughs> Darkest Peru? No, just Swindon. Right. Swindon. Um, hmm. Well, diversity. Karen, you're from Milton Keynes. It's so pretty and it's just properly... I'm, I'm going to go for a small quote. Yeah, yeah. John, can you explain the delay on the Thompson project? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mr. Smith. You see, we're waiting on the external contractor to, uh... uh well, yes, but isn't that something you could do while you wait? Well, just getting them to talk to me is taking up a lot of my time. You see, the thing is, we can't do anything until they're done, so... It's your job to find a way around the issue. Sitting at your desk, complaining or bumbling around the office... It's just a 
wasting my time. I have proposed other companies that might do the job a bit quicker. That contractor is a very good friend of mine. They work hard, they go above and beyond, and you're telling me they don't? Well, no, but they are quite... We've never had a problem with them. So, must be your management. Should never have put something like you in charge of something like this. Working hard, that contractor can show you a thing or two about working hard. It's not difficult, is it? Even a bear! Like you can figure that one out. Tolerate that kind of behavior here. I really liked working here. <laughs>